Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I wanna to show you how to make raw milk butter. All right, well in continuation with the raw milk series, first I answered some questions that showed you how to make raw milk yogurt, raw milk sour cream. Now I'm gonna show you how to make something that we probably all use regularly and that is butter. Now we get our milk if you watch the first video, you know from a local family who has a dairy cow. So it is raw, non-homogenized milk where the cream rises to the top. It's all grass fed. So the butter is nice and yellow in the spring when the cows are grazing on that fresh green grass. So first I'm gonna show you how to get the cream from the top. Mostly my husband and I use it for coffee. A lot of times we just shake the jar and get it incorporated for the kids to have the cream in their milk. I make sour cream with it on occasion and sometimes I make butter. Now here's the thing. We have a local farm that makes raw milk butter from their grass-fed cows. So most of the time, I'm going there. But when she doesn't have it available because she doesn't year round, this is a great method to use. We just take a quarter cup and scoop in the top once it's separated. Now it takes it usually about a day to separate and then the longer it sits in the fridge, the thicker it gets and the smaller amount as it gets really, really thick as it sits. But you'll be able to separate any extra milk later. So either way, as long as you just see this nice cream line on the top, you can get the cream off. I always just take my scooper like this and separate it that way. Now I already have this jar here full or almost full. There doesn't need to be any measurements. You can just use as much cream as you have and it'll just depend on how much butter you get but you don't have to measure anything on this recipe. And I guess it's more of a method than a recipe. Okay, now when I make butter, I like to use my blender. I've used my Oster blender, I've used this Ninja works great to separate the butter. Also, if you wanna make whipped cream, you can stop a little bit early in this process and you'll end up with whipped cream, which is also delicious. Now, as you can see, my cream here is very, very thick, but this will work great even if you do not have that thick of cream. Now I'm just going to process this on high until first it'll turn into a whipped cream and then you'll start to see something yellow sloshing around in there and that's when you can stop and see if you have successfully gotten the butter. Okay, after about 30 seconds or so of blending, we've already reached whipped cream status and a little bit beyond. We still have a little bit further to go before it can officially be butter, but it's definitely getting there. Okay, you can see now it's having a hard time blending and there's something yellow down here. I think we're about there. This here is how it's gonna look when you look inside the blender. Okay, I have a helper now who wanted to join me for the last of this. I'm just going to pour what is in this blender, which is kind of butter, I don't know what you'd even call those, globs with buttermilk, and we're gonna show you how to separate them. Now we are going to basically press the side of a wooden spoon, or I honestly, when I'm not on camera, prefer to use my hands for this, but you want to get all of the butter together and separate it from the buttermilk. Okay, I'm sorry, but you guys might correct me, but I have found no good way to do this but to squeeze the buttermilk out with my hands. This is what I always do, so I'm just gonna show you guys like it is. Now, the more buttermilk you remove, the longer this butter will last. And you even want to go ahead and rinse it under some cold water. Now, of course, since it's a fat, it won't seep in. It'll just not melt it, but just rinse it off, basically. Now, I just reach down and grab any additional butter that is hanging out in the buttermilk. And I try to work this pretty fast because it'll begin to melt, of course, with your warm hands. Okay, and now is a great time to go ahead and add a little bit of salt or herbs. You could also do like a honey cinnamon butter would be delicious. It is in a soft form right now, but as soon as you put it in the fridge, it's gonna harden up like normal butter does. And so this is a good time to go ahead and add that. How much salt do you think we should add? Add. We're just gonna do it to taste because 
how else can you do it? When you're making stuff at home, that's the advantage. Just give it, give it a little stir. Why don't you stir it up a little bit, Hina? Otherwise it's gonna be really salty on top. All right, you wanna give it a little taste? Yeah. Tastes good? It's good. Maybe. It's good. butter. Good. It's good over some broccoli. I like to blend it in my coffee. We like butter in excessive quantities, don't we? Yes. <laughs> we love butter. I also went ahead and poured off the buttermilk. Now that's just the liquid that comes out whenever you're making butter and you can use that in any recipe that calls for buttermilk. Of course, you know the classic buttermilk pancakes. Also makes a good base for a ranch dressing. So delicious and healthy, especially you know when you're getting this milk grass fed and raw from a local farm. All right, well I hope that you enjoyed this very easy tutorial on making butter. You basically blend up some cream, separate the butter from the buttermilk, add whatever flavoring you want and then put it in the fridge. That's about it. Rinsing it's good to make it last longer. And then you end up with two tasty products, buttermilk and of course butter. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, go ahead and check out the rest of this series. I have several raw milk recipes as well as a Q&A on the reasons why we do raw milk here in our family. We find it very worth it to go out of our way to get milk from a local farm. It's one of our favorite traditions that we have been doing now for nine years. She's probably looking at me funny because she doesn't actually like driving out to the farm. I do not. But we do like the milk that we get. Yes. That's for sure. Also, you can check out some of my fermentation recipes I have on here, which are also a great part of a healthy diet. And if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. I'm gonna try the butter. Tastes like butter. <laughs>